take a look at the second one now, also for a purse of $113,000. The number one horse, No Nukes. Number two, Cole Harbor. Number three, Icarus Lobel with Blue Bonnet's favorite, Hervé Filion driving. The number four entry, Watering Hole. After that, we had Merger with John Campbell. Cam Fella with Pat Crow and Hilarion. The second elimination division for a purse of 113,000. Oh, this was a good horse race. At the start, Cole Harbor rushed out fast. Watering Hole likes the front end, and Norm Do Place took him to the front. Cole Harbor second, and Cam Fella dropping in there third from the far outside. Moving into fourth as they came to the quarter mile mark, that was Hilarion from an outside position. Icarus Lobel fifth, and starting up now from far back, Merger. Coming over to the quarter, and the leader at this point is Watering Hole with Cole Harbor, Cam Fella third, and he comes out as Merger moves up to challenge. I was a little disappointed as we watched this race uh, earlier, Earl, that no nukes didn't turn in a better performance. Glenn Garnsey driving him, and uh, he's been there in just about every race he's been in this year, but really experienced some problems here. Seemed kind of rocky at times. Right, we see that as they go past the half. Cam Fella leading at this point. Merger races to the front with Cam Fella second, watering hole third. And now starting up on the outside is Hilarion. See him there going around Cole Harbor. Following him on the outside, the horse with a white shadow roll is Icarus Lobel. In this heat, the quarter was 28 and 2, the half, 57 and 1, and Merger drove right on. Cam Fella second, and he went, uh, stayed on the rail there with uh, allowing Hilarion to go unchallenged right by him. Looked like Cam Fella might be in some real problems here, Earl. As you say, uh, Hilarion up quickly on the outside with Billy O'Donnell, but look at no nukes coming from the back of the pack now. And all of a sudden, you will see him get his head around, put some bad steps in, and that's the kind of a race it was for no nukes. Meanwhile, uh, Cam Fella getting a break now to get out of that two hole. Yes, Merger opened a couple of lengths at the three quarters. It was 126 and three at that point. And uh, coming around the turn, making the break there was uh, Hilarion. And no nukes, of course, was in real trouble before the three quarters. Through the stretch now, and it's merger. Cam Fella coming by him easily to win it for Pat Crow in 155 and two fifths. Okay, Cam Fella, 155 and two. Very impressive performance to get him into the Prix de Tay final. Your top three in the second elimination Cam Fella, merger, and Icarus Lobel.